So now I have the honor of helping kick off uh, World Pancreatic Cancer Day, uh, which is coming up in just uh, a few weeks. And I know everybody is excited as I shared. If you've seen, if you've, I hope you've seen the assets that were created. They are really exceptional. And I think that, that we're going to all get a lot of use out of the great work that's been put into this effort. Um, so now it is my honor to introduce and welcome Jess Albison. She's the co-founder of Purple Our World. Uh, and she has is also the chair of the World Pancreatic Cancer Day Committee. Jess, I know it's still pretty early on your side of the world. So I just want to say good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. And I'd like to also introduce and thank Craig McCanch, uh, and he, who is the president and creative director at, at Native Marketing. Craig has done an exceptional job. Uh, working with us on the overall campaign, ongoing communications, and our social media plans. And Craig, we're super grateful for, for your support and for Mia's support of this meeting and uh, and the campaign that we're about to dive into. Uh, so at this point, I want to pass it over. I want to thank everybody for their time, and I want to pass it over to Jess and to Craig. Thanks, Cindy. Hi everyone, um, as Cindy said, it's morning here for me, so I'll say good morning to you all. Um, but thank you so much for having us this morning and Craig and I are so excited to um, present this campaign preview to you. As Cindy mentioned, we did send um, a lot of the assets out already in the newsletters. Um, the reasoning behind that is that the meeting is over three weeks, the preview is happening a little bit later this year and we know that a lot of organizations are already deep in planning mode for November and World Pancreatic Cancer Day. So we didn't want to hold any of those assets from you. Um, but we're very excited to show you everything today and take you through the rationales behind everything and how everything's going to work through November. Um, so I'll just quickly take you through the agenda. So we're going to take you through, you know, how the campaign has evolved into 2022. Um, we're going to show you our brand new logo. I'm going to take you through all of the assets, our wonderful campaign video, um, you know, how it's going to all work on social media, um, how we're going to make sure that the next 45 days are as easy and seamless for you all. Um, and basically what the next three things are for you to do, we'll then open it for any Q&As that you have and we'll do our best to, to answer everything. Um, so again, um, I just want to thank all of our sponsors. I know everyone um, has thanked you already, but honestly, our campaign would not be where it is without your amazing support. And we're really appreciative of everything you do for the coalition and the day campaign. So <laughs> we'll just take you through um, the 2022 goals, um, which the committee sat down and um, talked about in depth. Um, so we basically wanted to make time um, even more prevalent in the creative assets. Um, we also acknowledge that we are in the 21st century. <laughs> we wanted to <laughs> bring the assets into the 21st century. So you'll see a lot of it is now digital um, and you know, hopefully it'll speak to every generation um, who is part of the Apple and Android <laughs> movement. Um, we've also got a new video this year, which, you know, we've made the tone a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more urgent while still keeping the color scheme quite uplifting. Um, and, you know, you also at last year's meeting gave us the challenge to expand um, the Know Your Symptoms and Risks messaging. Um, and a lot of that was about, um, you know, giving patients and family members um, the ability to take action and advocate and champion for themselves and their own health. So we'll talk you through how we're doing that this year as well. Great. Well, I will take over, Jess, and um, yes, we'll bring you back up later for some Q&A. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, let's jump in. Thanks, Craig. Okay. Um, well, as we just mentioned, the idea for 2022 was to not change or go away from it's about time, but to actually 
push harder and lean further into the idea of time and just make it more prominent in the presentation. And as you may remember from 2020, the logo, the logo of 2021 built, put time a little bit more on top. Um, and, but one of the things that we actually noticed looking back at both of those is the very analog nature of the presentation of time with the, with the tick marks. And so we thought that that was a little bit old school and that as we move into the future, the idea of using a digital clock would be probably an interesting transition. And so we went in a totally new direction based on the input from the committee. And it's, as Jess mentioned a moment ago, really put the idea of time in the forefront. And I know many of you have seen this already. One of the things that you may not have seen is the small animation that we are gonna be making available so that everyone can uh, watch and share this on social media, turning from 1159 to it's about time and, and bringing in the World Pancreatic Cancer Day and the, the date. So that, um, lo that will be with everybody as well. I guess the, the most important thing, that while we were making time more important, uh, one thing hasn't changed. It's still going to be much about time. And we want to use It's About Time in social media and on w, uh, World Pancreatic Cancer Day to not only celebrate the gift of time and appreciate every moment with loved ones, but also to reinforce the urgency around time. So it's about time to know the symptoms, to learn the risk factors, understand the facts around pancreatic cancer, understand the time is urgent for more research and patient advocacy and the focus on early detection, just all of these things will wrap around the idea of time. And of course, it's also about time to share your story, but reminding people that it's about time also to take action. If you're sensing that you have these symptoms for a, 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 a few weeks, it, you need to take action instead of just worrying about it. And so that brings us really into the key message that we're adding on to the campaign for next year, which is to take action. And yes, we're gonna to continue to talk about sharing stories and continue to talk about symptoms and risks, but the idea of even having a downloadable patient guide that will help patients pursue their approach to a, a general practitioner or their doctor, you'll see that later in the, in the display. Um, and so this idea of action is really gonna be important for 2022. And what I'd like to do is break it down a little bit before we get into some of the details and just show you some of the, the key brand, uh, the brand elements that we're going to be, that will be different from this year. So first of all, which you probably have already noticed is color, <laughs> lots of color, um, but purple still obviously the primary brand color for World Pancreatic Cancer Day. But we think that expanding our palette gives us, will, will just give us more opportunity to create and draw people in with some more impact. And of course, these dots, which you're going to see throughout the campaign, will also have a role to play. And you'll see more of that shortly. So the, the dots and the color are one big area. The other is um, a whole cast of characters, a more diverse group. Instead of just colors and shapes, uh, we wanted to contemporize the feeling of the campaign by using these really interesting illustrations. And it gives us the ability to incorporate diversity of race, age, gender, and having and giving it more of a, of a global appeal. And you'll notice that everyone is wearing a, a watch and, and or looking at their watch, uh, and that'll be part of the idea of it's about time as well. Some of the other elements that you're gonna notice in the campaign is that you'll see a bit of a journey through time, starting way back uh, with the hourglass idea, but then also moving forward through a more traditional analog clock features, including the normal clock dial, also the flipping, the flipping clock from the old school hard version of digital. And for those of us who've moved into the real digital world, you'll, you'll notice a familiar looking digital watch. And uh, you may also recognize the dots if you have a watch like this. So we'll bring this type of contemporary graphic design into the, into the fray. Um, while we're keeping the line art from the symptoms and risks the same as previous years in order to maintain continuity, we are really, again, putting time in the forefront by having every one of the icons on the face of a clock. So it's, it's just really, again, whenever you see one of these icons, 
about a symptom or about a risk, you'll notice that they uh, have more attention on time in the background. So we're always going to be keeping that uh, that part of the campaign message going. Um, so where these elements all start to come together, start to come together, are in some of the physical assets that we've created. And it's important to know that this year, we, again, remember what, what the coalition members told us last year, and that is that while we do have a, sim a symptoms poster in English, that we wanted to make sure that it was available for other countries to translate it into their own language. So this poster will be available in Adobe Illustrator format as well as in a PNG or PDF format for um, English speaking countries. Um, you may be familiar with the increase in, or the surge in popularity of QR codes since the pandemic. And I think that that's something that we found that more people are using and we thought it might be a good idea to include those in the poster and in some of the other elements where that you can uh, go directly to the website through the poster by scanning your, your phone and getting that uh, put in place. This poster will be designed as 11 by 17, but again, it's very easily transferred with the Adobe Illustrator into a A3 format. Uh, so I mentioned earlier about the patient guide. You um, may remember last annual meeting, there was one of the, one or two of the breakouts came to the conclusion that it's about time to know the symptoms, to know the risks, and to know your options. And we really, as a committee, played with that idea to figure out what, is that, what does that really mean? If you have symptoms and you know that you're in a risk factor, how can you know what the options are and how can you better be prepared for talking to your doctor or physician? And so we put together a patient guide that we're gonna um, introduce. It'll be also available in Illustrator format so that folks around the world can do a translation. And it also has a QR code on it. So it's very small here, but don't worry, you'll be able to download it soon. Um, it's got the new campaign look on it. It has the QR code, but essentially it's a platform to let uh, people who are uh, experiencing any of these symptoms to check off those symptoms in the boxes, put down any family history of cancers and understand when they set their appointment, when they when, what their doctor's name is, just as a way of creating some momentum to get and to take action. So this will be downloadable um, as well, and it'll be in the coming newsletter. Uh, as we look at those different elements and we've looked at the aspects of the campaign, the biggest change this year will, of course, be in the video. Um, after two years of using the same video with a minor edit to change the date from 2020 to 2021, we knew that we looked at the analytics on social media and on the website traffic, and there was definitely a, a drop in year one to year, or sorry, 2020 to 2021. And so the committee felt that it was time to introduce a new video. And you've already seen a number of graphic elements that'll come into this video. And so we've incorporated those. And what I'd like to do now is, in, and by the way, it's gonna take me a second or two because I've got to switch from slides to video. But we're going to go ahead and play the video in one moment. So please stay tuned and turn up your volume. OK, we are back. I hope you enjoyed that video. And we'll certainly be open for questions at the end, if you have any. Um, I, I think it's also important to note that in addition to English, the video will be made available in the 12 languages that you see above, which we obviously believe adds in the shareability of this video around the world by many of our coalition members. And we really encourage you to share and post and share and post when it becomes live. Um, again, for this, an editable version will be available as a raw file in Premiere Pro. It's a very large file, as you might imagine. And so we're gonna be making that link available through the, the next newsletter coming up here in, in October. Um, it's only gonna be going out to members only because we feel that if you would be the ones to make any changes, we don't wanna have the raw file out to the world. Um, so while the English version and all of these 12 languages will go live on our website on November 1st, right in time for the 
start of Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month. And I'll go through a little bit more on timing of other elements here in a minute. Um, okay, so if you saw the, the video, we also, of course, will be revising and updating our website with the new campaign theme. You already, I, I think on the, on the homepage, see this on our website already, um, but it's set to launch, the full site is set to launch next week. And I'm not gonna go through every single page of the website, but just wanna introduce a little bit of how the new campaign elements will be introduced into the website. Uh, so one thing you can see is of course the, the bold logo at the front of it on the homepage. And then the navigation at the top is using our, our dots and our new purple color. All of the pages will incorporate the new elements, like the clock here, like the, the people that are around. And you will also see that many people are looking at their watches while they're looking through the site. Um, another area of the campaign will, that will continue is the very popular stories section of the website. And we really still want you to encourage survivors, family members uh, of of anybody who's been in the pancreatic cancer community, get, get this out there so that we can continue to grow our number of stories. We have a substantial amount already, and it really does feel as though it's, uh, it's an important part of the, the messaging overall. One other important change to the overall worldpancreaticcancercoalition.org website will be that for the first time, we are going to have the website available in now in four languages. So the entire website will be in French, Italian, Spanish, and English. Um, and it's been, um, it's a lot of work because it's a lot of pages. The translations are in process right now. And I wish to thank very much those of you on the coalition who are supporting us with the translation. Um, the system is that a, an artificial intelligence robot actually does the initial translation but we all know how that can turn out sometimes. So thanks to the folks in each country who are helping actually fine tune and make that present, make the translation great. And um, it's a lot of work and thanks everybody for that. So just to go over a couple of dates and timing um, for the website, as I mentioned, the World Pancreatic Cancer Day section of the website, of the, of the overall website will launch this weekend. Everything will be up. We'll have the new brand elements. We'll have the downloadable patient guide and we'll have a time for action section that allows all of you or anybody to download assets to use for your own campaign development, as well as just the general public to download and to share. And so that's that's next week. The next date that's important is that the, the WPCD videos, the video I just shared, will be added to the website on November 1st um, to kick off Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month. And that, that will happen on November 1st. Also on November 1st, the multi-language worldpancreaticcancercoalition.org website will launch. Uh, and so all of this will be happening over the next couple, three weeks, but we really want everything to be up and running and, and live for uh, the beginning of Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month. Um, so let's now move over to a review of some of our social media assets and talk about the social media planning a bit. Obviously, given the scope of the campaign and the global reach of social media, overall awareness building will fall primarily onto our platforms of Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It just works, and it's the, it's the, it's the best platform for all of the digital communications that we have. Uh, we've designed a wide range of It's About Time assets that I'll be sharing here in a moment. We'll be, from a coalition outward, we'll be sharing those be extensively beginning, um, beginning on the 17th of October, all the way through November. And we're expecting that you will all use these assets as well and really keep the, the unified global campaign theme to be uh, organized and, and impactful. Um, and when you do that, please, tag us in your posts. Uh, here are the campaign uh, handles for all of our uh, World Pancreatic Cancer Coalition platforms, and also use the hashtags that are uh, WP, hashtag WPCD and hashtag It's About Time. 
Uh, we also will be continuing um, to spend some money on a paid social media in five countries, and we'll be doing that in the languages of those countries. That we're going to keep it to the same countries as last year so that we can continue to build momentum in those territories. Okay, so let's now look at some of the assets that we have for social media. It'll all start to come together. Um, we encourage you all, as well as anybody that you are in your in your ecosystem, to change out your uh, your cover image on your Facebook page, your Instagram, sorry, on your Twitter page, and on your YouTube page, just to keep the the campaign theme front and center. We also uh, encourage you and others in your groups to change out your profile image. Uh, we've created a couple different assets to do that. One of them is just a straightforward logo of It's About Time with the date and World Pancreatic Cancer Day. And of course, the other is a frame that you can put your photograph in while still also talking about World Pancreatic Cancer Day or the fact that you shared your story on worldpancreaticcancercoalition.org. Um, these, uh, Facebook, as you may know, does not allow building of frames like this directly on their platform anymore, but Mia has put together a very a simple user guide for how to do that on Canva and then just upload it as a, as a finished uh, image onto your Facebook um, profile. It's super easy and you'll be able to find that also as part of our information. Um, so there are, as last year, there will be a variety of posts in both um, Instagram, Square, as well as Twitter, Facebook, rectangular formats. And these are going to be talking about symptoms, risks, facts about pancreatic cancer, encouraging people to tell stories, uh, encouraging people to check out the stories that are on the website, and keeping a focus on early detection. Um, another thing that we thought about, given the unique opportunity that we have uh, this year because of the timing of the FIFA World Cup, is that it's happening in such close proximity to World Pancreatic Cancer Day that we thought it would be a, an interesting opportunity to just leverage the hype and awareness of World Cup globally um, and attach it only from a fact standpoint to P World Pancreatic Cancer Day. I think it's astounding that over 5 billion people around the world will be watching World Cup and paying attention to it. That's more than half the people on the planet. So I think it makes sense to kind of adapt and attract some of the uh, attention that we're going to get. And the idea is really to just connect it to facts about World Cup and and uh, pancreatic cancer. And just by, by that, I mean that we did the math. 39,382 people will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer over the 29 days of FIFA World Cup 2022. So just kind of putting the 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 awareness of the number of cases of pancreatic cancer in in, in correspondence with the, the number of days of, of playing World Cup. Another fact is that every six days, enough people to fill a FIFA football pitch will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer globally. These are statistics that will give it some context, and we think that it will be helpful, and these will run across um, social media in the weeks leading up to it. So the, the last section um, that we have to talk about is public relations. And uh, it's something that the, the campaign committee approved the use, uh, our usage of a PR tool, a global PR tool called Meltwater. And that helps us identify different journalists around the world who have been writing about pancreatic cancer. So their beat may be medicine or healthcare or, or just any other beat, but if they're talking about pancreatic cancer, we can find them. And so what we've done is we've built a list of people to use. And what we wanna do is uh, issue two global press releases and we'll send it out to these lists uh, for the 2022 campaign. One of the messages will be highlighting the fact that the majority of worldwide pancreatic cancer cases are discovered at a late stage which severely limits treatment options and build a press release around the, the late stage diagnosis and, and how it limits treatment options. The second press release that we will do is around the fact that the WPCC will launch a global campaign 
to create higher awareness of pancreatic cancer symptoms and how to take action if you experience those symptoms. And along with these press releases, we'll also be sending out uh, the creative assets as well that the, um, the journalists can use. So the two, the two releases will be sent out globally to uh, approximately 600 people in the um, Americas, mostly in the United States, and about 300 contacts outside of the United States. And they'll be sent uh, one on the 18th of October and one on the 11th of October. <clears throat> Excuse me, I said, the, said that backwards. One on the 11th and one on the 18th. Um, we also will be making um, editable Word doc versions available in the October newsletter that you can send and change and adapt and send out to your local outreach and your local press as well. So the last thing that you probably already know about, but I will just do a quick recap, is that we have, as in previous years, prepared numerous guides that can help maximize your awareness building efforts for World Pancreatic Cancer Day. You've probably seen them already come through, the Lighted Purple Guide, Proclamation Guide, Guide with Key Messages, User Generated Guide, and, and several others. So if you've um, seen your newsletters over the past month, you've seen these guides. And if not, please reach out to us and we can make sure that you do have access to them. They will be on the World Pancreatic Cancer Day website starting this weekend as well. And speaking of newsletters, uh, I think it's important that, to make sure that you're actually getting the monthly newsletters. So please, if you haven't seen anything, check your spam folders. Um, and again, if, you, if you're not getting anything or don't feel you're getting it, please reach out to us and we can help get you coordinated and set up. Because even between now and uh, November 17th, there'll be other bits of information and resources coming out through these newsletters. Okay, so we're really down to the countdown. Um, you've seen all the elements, you've heard about the strategies for 2022, and we're really counting on all of you to take action. I, I said earlier that taking action was a big part of this. And so we've got 45 days to create maximum awareness, download the assets and get yourself prepared. I know many of you have already been doing it and thank you for that. And a lot of folks have been reaching out saying that they need certain things and we're more than happy to help. Um, it'll be very important to share the new video when it, it gets released. Don't share it before November 1st, but on November 1st, share it widely. Um, email the link to your newsletter base so they get to see the, the video and to then share it as well. Please use the hashtag WPCD and hashtag it's about time. And remember, at the end of the day, it is time. And we, as a coalition, as a global organization, can make massive impact by working together. And that's one of the real big, powerful elements of this coalition. So I'm now going to turn it back over to Jess to finish up and take us into the Q&A after a few more comments. Thanks, Craig. Um, yeah, so as, as Craig said earlier, um, we, are, we all do need to do our part to, to, be, to share this campaign um, with the world. And it is a requirement for all WPCC members to share one the Cancer Day campaign. Obviously, the more you share, the better. Um, but there is an expectation that you do share at least one. Um, so I guess the, the three biggest takeaways um, for you all is to share the video. Um, as Craig said, only once it's been shared in November on November 1. Um, engage with the WPCD channels. The more engagement that we do together as a coalition, the more our posts are seen. Um, so the more that we can engage together, the better. Um, share the graphics, um, use the approved hashtags again, hashtag WPCD and hashtag it's about time. And then encourage your followers to download the patient guide. Um, as we said, a lot of this campaign is empowering patients and family members and caregivers to take action. And that patient guide um, will hopefully have, um, help them out. Um, and just before we move into the q and I just want to say a very, very big thank you to everyone listed here. Um, Louis, Fiona, Louise, Lisa, Kerry, Francesca, Jenny Lee, Iga, Helen. Um, it's an amazing committee. And as you can see, it's something that we strive for. It is a global committee. So it is representative of 
so many countries around the world. And that is what enables us to make such a brilliant global campaign that resonates around the world. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you to this amazing committee. You have been incredible this year and um, what a wild ride. <laughs> agree, agree. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I think we'll just now open it to um, some Q&A. If you have any questions, I believe you can pop them in the chat and um, we will do our best to answer them. Yeah, there's actually a Q&A tab over above in the chat section. You can just type in a question uh, and we'll be happy to answer. Oftentimes there are no questions, which we're okay with that as well. But um, means we've done our job. <laughs> That's right. Let me just look at the chat. I do see that there's a number of chatting things, but I don't know if there are questions. Nope. General chat. All right. Well, I do see some comments, which are very appreciated. Thank you. Um, oops, there's one that popped up on the Q&A. Um, so here's a question, two questions. Uh, if some of us would like to translate the patient guide in other languages, can the Word doc be sent already this week? Um, yes, and it will be, um, it's not a Word document, it's a Adobe Illustrator. Um, I wonder, we, we may be able to find a way to put that in Word to make it easier, um, but right now it will be available in Adobe Illustrator. And this presentation will be part of the uh, assets that we send out. Technically, it won't be part of the assets, but we'll send a link to the video. And we also will include the uh, PDF version of the document, which could be downloaded as well. That certainly is, um, uh, that's good. And then uh, Fiona says, can you please remind us which five countries the paid social ads are in? Um, yes, it is English speaking countries. So it's basically all the English speaking countries in the world or the ones where we have presence. And then it is in, um, Italian, in Hebrew, in Polish, and in Spanish. And we did that in the previous years, and we got we 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 noticed that there was a track record that was building over time. And you know, I think at some point we can potentially switch to other countries and and give some more juice beyond those. But um, that's where we're at for this year. And then um, Liam says, can you share the list of journalists engaged in the pancreatic cancer conversation in our area? Yes, we can. And I think um, we've shared that with our day committee already. Uh, and we can do that uh, as well. Um, we'll figure out the best way to do that. Maybe we attach links in the newsletter. Very good questions. Thank you for those. Um, Audrey, will the video be available to download if we want to use it for a presentation off social media? Uh, yes, all the videos will be available for download in all of the languages. I, I, they won't be until November 1st, but that's when they're available. If you need something before then for an internal use, Audrey, we can talk, but we don't want them kind of shared until November 1st. Um, there is a question about FIFA. In the FIFA section, I noticed the use of the word pitch. I believe this is a US term. Perhaps this should be replaced with stadium. Okay, fair enough. We can, we can do some exploration on that. I actually thought in, this, in the States, we call it a field. So we thought we were using the global word when we used pitch. Maybe that is a, a English, UK and Australia thing, but we'll look at that and make sure we have the right, uh, right wording. Uh, what is the length of the patient guide? It is, it is one page. And that page, it, as I mentioned, is, is translatable if you, you, if you have Adobe Illustrator. The QR code on that page takes you to um, the website page of symptoms and risks, and it, does, it takes you right there. And so it actually bounces people back and forth. If you're on the symptoms and risks page, you can download the patient guide. If you somehow get the patient guide out of context of the website, you can scan the QR code and you'll be taken back to the website. Great. Great questions. All right. Anybody else or should we wrap it up? Uh, there's one chat. Let's see if that's a question or a chat. Nope, we're good. 
Okay, um, again, thank you all. Thanks to the committee. Uh, I'm gonna switch this, Jess, so there's one more slide here. I gotta go back over here. Yep, we, we, just, we just wanna thank everybody for all of the work that you're about to do to support this campaign around the world. And, um, and anything else that you need from us, don't hesitate to, to reach out. Yep. And that's it. Thank you, everyone.